Oh, it's so much better oh, than Steve's over here. <laughs> Fucking Steve. The picture's better, too. I know. He's, Aww, like, well, he's like well kept. And quiet. And quiet. <laughs> all last week, didn't sleep a lick. He just screams all night long. It's the... N- that's how he snores. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, like, he didn't sleep. He was up till wee hours the, every night. Yep. Editing or drinking or yeah. doing both. Mm-hmm. He broke me. He broke you? Well, I use Steve as excuse to drink every night. <laughs> oh, that's why you're on retreat. Yes. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Chunk need recovery time. I went to a wedding Chunk to old. get recovery. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, God. I had to go to Florida. Morgan's relatives? Uh, college roommate. Yeah, you yeah. stayed sober. I, yes. Yes, I did. Good. Holy shit. Those people were as fucking exciting as stucco. How's house? Oh my god, I didn't have one single fucking conversation while I was there with anybody because everybody was talking at me. And any time that I would yeah. like bring... Hey, what you? Well, I'm actually doing that. No, no, no. I would try that to bring in... Well, <laughs> yes, but like more like pompously self-absorbed. Mm-hmm. And I would try to bring in like reference points like hey look i also have done this like oh, we have a, something that could build any kind of rapport it was just like mm-hmm. no <laughs> i'm speaking you listen so this guy was talking about still rolling hunt um still he was talking about how like oh yeah you know i play golf professionally oh, yeah, you know, I, I come down here so often to <coughs> when the tour is playing down here and all this i was like mm-hmm. oh yeah that's that's great um and all this and then i googled him and he's not even fucking on the amateur pga he's just, he just saying shit oh uh, well he's, he's to be pr- cool guess he was big during like the connecticut golf scene but like I don't know what that means. Yeah, exactly. Okay. He won a regional tournament once. He farted into a glass and then smelled it in front of me. That's pretty much what happened. (laughs) Yeah. So how was your weekend, Jenna? Yeah, it was great. It was super good. I don't know what I did at all. Oh, it was good. I liked it. Did you guys like it? I haven't watched the stream back yet Mm. because I didn't want spoilers. Mm, Fair. I told you the first few minutes is spoiler free. The first 30 minutes was spoiler free. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, it was a lot better YouTube. than it had any right to be. Yeah. Hell yeah. I was very pleasantly surprised with how great that movie was. I've heard pretty positive too. things about the Mario movie, too. Um, I'm not ready to look at that hmm. until I can take Danny to see it on Thursday. Okay. But um, nice. hell yeah, brother. Like, the writing was good. It was funny. The jokes were well written, mm-hmm. and uh, it's put in the right place in the script. Um, I had a really fucking good time, and I went in there looking to destroy it, and it I it destroyed me. It. Yeah, and I didn't. Loved it. I had meat sticks during the nice. movie. It was yes, great. Ooh, Crimson Crow. Crow. Hey, Crimson Crow. <laughs> it's good to see you. <coughs> and Big Jim. Well, I'm good. Mm, yeah, I mean, come on. Phil owes money too. Apparently, he said I owe money to Big Jim. He says, oh, shit. "Phil, where's my money?" Oh. Uh, I sent you a traveler's check through <laughs> Pony Express. <laughs> through Pigeon. Yes. The check is in the mail. Cock! The check is in the snail. Mm-hmm. Which snail? You find out. That's right. You have to open up each one until you find it. Oh, no. He says you do owe him money. Okay. I don't... I, uh, <laughs> what did Drunk Phil do? No, <laughs> no, make a no. Bet? No. I, I, you know what? Um, my... My my lawyer has uh, advised me oh. to stay quiet about this and that okay. um, I can't publicly speak about it until uh, the settlement has been... Um, okay, Mr. President. Former President. I mean, I Are you selling Danny? No, he's okay. priceless. Gotcha. No, he's got He's price. worthless. That's, there it is. <laughs> he's worthless, yeah. It's going to say... Yeah. Guy. Nobody wants a small bucks. white m- cis male right now. <laughs> yeah, they're they're two completely two. worthless. I looked into it. Uh, all right. Well, on that note. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, and a call to you, my good man. You guys ready to start this episode? Yes. <clears throat> all right. Been ready. Pull me. <laughs> 
previously. Unpatched. I can't see. Did we get away? <laughs> flap, 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 flap. We've outsmarted death once again, me laddie, <laughs> as we climb through the chained hole of destiny. Where are our two compatriots? Dead. Probably dead. But yeah, we have survived, and that's all that matters. Hmm. Welcome back, listeners, to the 35th episode of our seventh season. Thanks for tuning in again. We are going to start right where we left off last time as, um, well, those two are dumb. But we'll start with uh, old Felita and Clancy. So, Felita, if memory serves me correctly, you would hit a ramp and you got some, it's like, sick air, bro. Just so much air. Uh, but unfortunately, the speed of which that you went up this ramp and sort of the jerking motion... Neither you nor Clancy noticed that the rope had frayed ever so slightly, and the rope actually snaps. So while you are flying at the chain, Clancy is actually nose diving down into a deep, dark pit. Squeesh. So you don't know where he goes. You just hear him scream. That is what he would say. And he goes down into the pit. You are f careening towards this big, glowing... Oh, wait, did you light up the whole chain? Or just part of the chain? I think it was the whole chain. He's not paying any attention. Okay. Thanks, Admiral Gizzy. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sorry. I was looking at your camera. Oh, okay. You're so handsome. Your I mean... camera, your camera <laughs> is um, uh, just weirdly cropped. Okay. And it looks like you got a neck brace around your neck. It's a, it's a, it's a scarf. Okay. Um, scarf. It's ask again. Thing. Ready? Sure. Uh, Admiral Gizzard, did you light up the entire chain or just part of that? Oh, chain? the entire thing is lit, and I believe it's lit for an entire hour, you see. Fam. As long as you hold concentration. Um, I will check on that as okay. you fill you the know. void. So, yeah. So, uh, Felita, you are flying at high speeds towards this glowing chain. Yes. It's a touch, not a concentration. So you just had to be touching it. Um, I thought I just booped it and it stays on for an hour. Okay. Yeah, one action touch. <laughs> yeah, one action touch. Okay. So it yeah. just stays on for an hour. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, so you're you're flying towards this gigantic uh, glowing chain. The, the chain itself is well, bigger than multiple buildings put together, so quite large. You're flying towards it. You can hear behind you quite a ways the flapping of leathery wings as they quickly approach towards you. But you do have a lot of speed from this ramp, so you're probably ahead of him for at least a little bit. <clears throat> what would you like to do for Sweet. You? Um, oh, let me look through my stuff. Okay. I, shit, I don't really well, know. I don't don't do that. That's, yeah, that's not going to that, help. That might propel faster. Though. I shit in, in the air. air. So it'll just go yeah. out into nothingness. If anything, it'll hit Clancy in the mouth. Do you think um, that would distract <laughs> death from like honing in on them, I don't like think so. the little stink bombs? <clears throat> well, everyone knows that if you shit, death assumes you're dead because shitting is the last thing you do. That's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Could yeah. that work, Dennis? Try it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll let you um, know. <laughs> and I'm going like directly toward this chain. Oh yeah, you're flying. You're flying at it. Shh, I don't have anything you to slow myself even, down. You may even fly through. The um the links of the chain, not a hundred percent sure yet. It's close. Okay. You either how smash wide right... are the links of the chain? Oh, I mean like the size of an inn. Like these chains oh. are fucking huge. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take out my hand axe. Okay. Um, and I'm I'm gonna try as I get to the length of the chain. I'm gonna try and like slow myself down on this link with the hand axe. Mm. Oh, I thought you were gonna. Is it a magical hand axe or just a regular hand axe? It's just, it's just a hand axe, Dennis. Okay. <clears throat> Can you like? I have a question dabba? about Clancy before you roll that. Okay. Does Clancy have any kind of like? Is he like a, a box turtle? Is he a pack turtle? Does he have things have hidden inside of his shell or anything like that? Uh, organs. Like I, mm -hmm. I know, but like I, I know this other. Well, I guess he's not really a turtle. That hides things oh. inside his shell. He, he is a turtle. And his father is a uh, god turtle. Um, but 
He doesn't hide things inside a shell, he right? He does. He hides uh, foreskin. So then and what's, emotions. So and then emotions. what's saying that uh, Clancy can also have things hidden inside of his... He's uh, in a. He's down in the blackness, so you don't... I mean, you. what are you doing? I'm asking <laughs> as, like, Philip the player, uh-huh. because Clancy's not here to play his own character? I don't know what Clancy <laughs> had keeps inside him. We all get the pilot. Look at parachute. Around, right? He's got like, yeah. he probably has like a blanket he cries into every night, right? <laughs> you can't it? be that kind of a. He doesn't cry. He's a monster. Well, that's the thing, right? He doesn't cl- cry publicly, but he might go back into his shell uh-huh. and cry privately. Uh huh. So that you're right. He's a dickhead. He doesn't have any of that. Uh, high or low, Felita. Mm, low. Okay. So you are, it, it looks like you're going to just miss the chain and go through the chain link. And you go behind you and you put your hand axe out. And your hand axe on this solid metal chain, uh, you put it, like you try and put it in basically, and the handle just snaps off. So like the, the axe head just snaps right off of this hand axe and flies into the nothingness. Uh, Hitting Clancy. <laughs> yes, hitting Clancy directly in the top of his soft, soft skull. Um, oh, no. You have, it l- I would say, one more action before you clear this length of chain and then pass through the the gap. Voice and head. Yes. Is Are they flying parallel to the hole or are they flying into the hole? Are you talking about the hole? Like, like if they pass through the hole... Are they going to hit something I, on the other side? Or is I, it just I'm like talking space? the hole in the, the earth where the chains are coming out of. You said that they're going... No, they're going... So they came at it sideways. So, so look, perpendicular. Here's what I'm saying, right? Yes. Here's the chain and here's the hole. Yes. Are they going this way? Yes. So they're not going up into the no. hole. Okay, they're fucked. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they didn't, they didn't come at it from the... They didn't angle it. Well, there's no angle <laughs> that you could do that with. You went to the, the big glowing circle and then turned... Well, I know, but I'm flying because exactly. I'm a cool guy. <laughs> they they are. Do turtles fly? fly? Uh, they are right now. Yeah, all right. There Falling we go. It's just. No, it's not. Style. Nah, there's no style with this. Okay. So yeah, Felita, you have a uh, one more action while you're going over this length of the chain before you pass through the uh, the hole in the link. And how close to them okay. are we? You guys said you took off into the tunnel. We did. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'll say you're at the mouth of the tunnel. Can we see that? Uh, I mean, perception. No, wait, I can't see shit. Yeah, you yeah, can't see dick all. <laughs> <laughs> that die is so hot. I know. You're going to pay so hard for 21. that. 21. Uh, you hear something behind you? I mean, you're not looking yeah. behind you. So you definitely hear <laughs> the sound of what uh, sounds like an axe head snapping off or something. I mean, I can still fly forward and turn my head. Yeah. But you were—I mean, you didn't have any reason to immediately. I know, turn but around. once I heard that snap, yeah, I'll, now you can turn. Around. Okay, I, well, I turn around. Yeah, you, you see Felita <laughs> flying through the chains. How far away are they? At this point, uh, about two hundred feet. Oh no, fuck that! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, because uh, you rushed way ahead of them last time. Oh yeah, hell yeah! It's I mean, left. I'm selfish. Uh huh. And my vi- mage hand can't even reach that far. To Your mage hand can't down. do dick. <laughs> I mean, you can't catch anybody with an mage hand. No, but I figure it like lessen their momentum you, by you, ten pounds. You, I was gonna say <laughs> you've tried to make this argument multiple times. With I mage mean, hand. Leslie. Yeah. Last time was he's got bird bones. He does got bird I bones. I do have bird bones. Yeah, it's so. not a lie. I know. I'm, very I'm just. Light. It's not what it does. I'm just gonna start using this mage <laughs> hand for inappropriate things for That's myself fine. once I get lonely. Just touch yourself. That's I fine. probably will. It seems like it's the only thing it can do, and it doesn't even do it that well. It can well. do lots of things. You, you just want to catch people with it. <laughs> I, I just want. You know, I just always want to help my friends. Uh huh. Except for right now. Yeah. No, they're too far away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So, Felina, yeah. you, got, you got one more turn so, on the link before you pass through. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna cast spiritual weapon, um, right in front of me. What does that do? It creates a floating weapon. Okay. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit weapon? myself with it. Yeah. Uh, you gonna yeah. hit yourself with it? No, I'm gonna hit myself with it to stop me. To stop like, me. Oh. <laughs> I'm choosing to do non-lethal nice. damage on myself. Okay. Sir. Okay. If you, okay. So, 
I'm trying to figure out why that would stop you suddenly. I feel like you. It's just not going to stop me suddenly. It's okay. going to hurt. I know <laughs> <Sure>. that. <laughs> okay. What type? What, what type of weapon? <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to die. What, what type of weapon? Um, is well, no, because because you go through because so let's say you miss this end of the link, you then pass through the hole in the link, and then you got the metal on the other side too. So you've got a little bit to work with. Okay. So you're not like instant dead if you just miss this right here. Okay. Um, my weapon looks like one of my big gloves. Okay. The master glove? Her giant kind gloves? My, oh, giant yeah. Glove, sorry. Yeah. I yeah. That. Okay. It turns into a giant glove. Just smacks you right in the face and just um, flip flops me down. over just you. So it slows down. you down a little bit. Is that what you wanted to do? I want it to like stop me and, and just like smoosh me down onto the chain. Smoosh, you said. Because <laughs> like I'm thinking about you had a lot of momentum and you're just hitting a weapon that's a glove. Like a metal gauntlet. I, I, right? No, I got it. But like it'd have to be really heavy to just instantly stop you. Mm. Uh, it's it's not the fact that it would have to be heavy. It's just how much damage is that? It's gonna yeah, yeah. term of life. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna do it's gonna do damage. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> right. I mean anything can stop anything. It's yeah, just how true. much damage is gonna be done with uh, it? Force true. equals mass times acceleration. Uh, yeah, uh, good Google. Okay, um, roll me a deck save for half damage. No, no. Just for a little less. <laughs> no, damage. no, no. It's full damage. A dex say What? Yeah. Okay. To go with it. To go with the crush. <laughs> okay. That's a dirty 20. Okay. Uh, it'll help. It'll definitely help. Okay. As you fly at very fast speeds into this fucking glove. Um, if only you had a whip, you'd be Castlevania around. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Clancy has a whip. Clancy's gone. Oh. <laughs> Did he have a whip? No. I was going to say, he didn't have a whip. And so <laughs> dies another one of Jenna's characters. Yeah, <laughs> probably. probably oh, i got to yeah. update the website with our last party. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> okay, so with your dirty 20, mm -hmm. pick a number between 1 and 5. That's the die that Ooh. I don't add to the damage. Ooh. Why are you? No, I'm attacking myself. So shouldn't I damage? <laughs> no, 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 I'm gonna let you do it's it. Not, Fuck it's it. not you care. attacking yourself. Ooh. It's the force of you running into a piece of metal. Okay. Uh, four. Four. A magical. Okay, you picked the uh, lowest damage oh. of the die. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Six see. damage. Uh, I can't say the number. But it You're right. Lot. But how does she feel? Uh, well. She had taken a lot of damage in the last encounter, mm. and currently mm -hmm. she is unconscious mm. as she has smashed into this thing at a lot of speed, and it's just laying face down onto this uh, this metal link chain. But you're not falling off of it. You you stopped, <laughs> but you're unconscious, and your your body's just sort of like twisted around a little bit. You went fall flat uh, with with a glove just floating next to it. Waving. <laughs> All right. Thumbs up. Uh, you've also, <laughs> so uh, on top of being knocked unconscious, uh, you have fractured your skull, you've broken your right hand, and you've broken your right foot. Ooh. Fun. You're going to have a headache after this. <laughs> so uh, uh, I'm going to say that, uh, Admiral Gizzard, you definitely see this as you had turned around. So you see Felita just laying on this chain, um, and you can hear in the distance the flapping of the leather wings, though you don't see it right this second. Out of, out of character. <laughs> Jenna, <laughs> would you like us to try to save you? <laughs> we're as, in, a, as in save Jenna? Yeah, come get me, please. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, well, we tried. You told us yeah, no. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> we, uh, we're having a moral debate right here on paper between me and him. 
Um, hey man, whatever your characters would do, you do. Fuck, that's not what I Fly! Fly! <laughs> well, here's the issue that we're having there, dearie, is that we both, <laughs> we are playing this in character as Tristan wants to fly away home as I want to go back because no one gets left behind. So you are a captain. I know. Or an admiral. And I normally would go down with this ship. Mm-hmm. Have I, always rehire. have I <laughs> felt any kind of like gravitational pull from this hole that we're flying into? No, though you do get a uh, a rather ominous feel down oh. the tunnel that you're going, and oh. there seems to be faint red light, like flash, not not like a strobing red light flashing, but uh, uh, sort of um, what's uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Infrequent. Like there's no pattern to it you just see this very dim in the distance flashing red light now reminder dm the last time yes. we were here i did very well on my insight checks and these holes seem to link up with different cities around yes <sighs> okay and there and the one isn't there like a big glowing orb above all of them the big glowing orb is where all the chains lead into but lead into which yeah. is where you guys ran away from because last time you thought about being thrown into it for a yes. hot second. Yes, we did. Yeah. I just forgot that we decided that was bad. Hmm. Um, I'm going to put Scrothor down on the chain near me. Okay. I need you to sit down here for just a bit. Um, Don't move. Ah! You're suspended. <laughs> Thousands of feet above the floor. Uh, what I'm in, the, I'm in the tube now, right? You're in the tunnel. Yeah, where the chain is. Yeah. Since I'm in the tunnel, could I just like keep flying forward through the tunnel? Yes. Oh yeah, I guess he, he does have flight because so, he's a bird. Mm -hmm. So the the tunnel, like the chain, is huge. Mm -hmm. So you have to imagine this tunnel is also huge. It's not like tight around the chain. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I can like feel the airflow and just stay in the yeah. In the and tube. he gets the dim light of. The blinking red light. He doesn't pretty see blind. light. <laughs> We've pretty had blind. this conversation. He has no eyes. I'm blind flying. Can't see light without eyes. <laughs> he can feel the heat of that red light in the distance. <laughs> he could just <clears throat> fly All right, and think. just, he'll probably feel around if I... Uh, All right, to. Scrothor, I'm going to send you in the right direction as I head back and get get our, our shipmates. Yes, and I'll go call for help. I don't believe you, but very well. I'll see you on the other side. I'll come back for you. I look forward to hiring your replacement. <laughs> flap. flap. I'm going to turn around and fly back. Okay. Uh, this all right. is so stupid. So I... you're using magic to fly, so there's no athletics involved here. Yeah. You um, but like 50 feet per second or something like that? I used athletics on Scrothor because he's flapping. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, it was a set. It's a set. I'm, I, set fly. It's like a little faster than mine. Yeah. yeah. So it's like either 50 or 60. Uh, I think it was faster than that. Yeah. I think it was like Because he was one. going over 100. Uh, yeah, because we yeah, were out he was double moving. Death. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, you were double moving at over 100. Yeah, 120 is my double. So, yeah, 60. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, so it would take you uh, one, in, one turn and change to reach where Felita is laying. Yep, I'm just going to buckle down and... Okay. Like ro the Rocketeer, keep my head down and just push forward, man. Okay. So one turn of movement, and you're a little bit closer. And you can, I mean, easily see Felita. Uh, roll me Perception. Dirty 20. Uh, okay. You definitely see the leathery winged death uh, with its giant three-clawed rake weapon uh, flying towards you. Though... Do an intelligence check to see if you, uh... Eleven. Finally cracked. Uh, you're pretty sure you'll get there before him. <clears throat> oh. Mm hmm How many feet away is everybody? So... Sixty? Or 120? Oh, from Felita, you're about 80 feet from Felita? Okay, how far away from death am I? Uh, if you had to guess with your 11, you'd say about 100-ish feet. All right. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to ready an action, a okay. spell. Okay. 
and then uh, I'm going to try to hoof it. Okay. So you fly the 80 feet, pick up Felita. Dan, now, yes. with, with that said, um, if I feel like we're getting close... Close. Um, like in a foot race between Death and me, uh-huh. I'm going to cast a spell in between his path to Felita okay. and Felita. So, okay. So that he would have to pivot or move or something like that to What's, just give me the maybe a split second faster. What's the spell you you want to cast? Cloud of Daggers. Okay. Uh, like I said, it looks like it'll be pretty close. You'll probably get there as you move one movement. Uh, you're definitely going to get there a little bit before. He okay, does. so then I'm going <laughs> to hold on to that spell and maybe use it as a like a shooting a green shell backwards when I pick these two up. Okay. He's like too. if things get too close. Okay. I'm gonna cast like a cloud of daggers behind me. Sure. To like as a okay like as a, as a safety banana as you're in first sure. place. I mean. So are you flying? How are you flying back towards the tunnel? Like are you flying mm. above the chain, below the chain, through the chain? Um, probably the most A to A point way to get there so there's it's the quickest way to get to them okay so you'll pick up what do you, what do you mean them what are you talking about them C- clancy and you don't see clancy clancy gone clancy gone felita sorry oh, okay i didn't hear that clancy was missing um no 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 like you you can <clears throat> I, i'm not talking about the line to get felita you've already got felita i'm saying to go back towards oh, the tunnel. Oh, to go through the tunnel, yeah. Um, I mean, for right now, I'm just going to go as straight as possible. If I feel like we're being tailed or chased or mm-hmm. need to do evasive maneuvers, I'll do that next. Okay. So, yeah, so you pick up Felita and you you sort of fly through the chain link to the other side and you're just sort of flying along the chain link. Uh, you see that the winged death sort of out the other side of the chain, very close to you. So you cast Cloud of Daggers, which creates this big cube of daggers, correctly? Or correct? Yeah, but, I mean, if it wasn't going to... If it wasn't... I want to hold it as a defensive spell. Okay. So, like, if if I didn't have to cast it there because he had no chance to hitting us or hitting... Sure. I want to hold on to it. He'll catch you on the next turn. So, yeah, I want to wait... And go in and out of the chains, okay. So that I can evasive maneuver, and then maybe once I'm between one of the links, mm-hmm. drop the cloud of daggers through there. Okay. Especially if he is giving chase. Roll me a dex, saver check. Uh, let's go with check. Also, Felita, roll me a death save. Still hot, baby. It's a twenty. Okay. Non natural. Okay. What'd you get, Felita? I got four. Okay, nice. that's one in the negative. <sighs> I'm flying down the tunnel still. Yep, yep, you're good. You're just it's flying fast as I can. You're just having a grand old time. <laughs> um, it's a long tunnel, so you got a while. Uh, all right, so you, Admiral Gizzard, are weaving through the chains fairly effortlessly. Uh, you are spinning and pivoting. This uh, winged death seems to a little be a little bit bulkier, so he doesn't bank quite as well as you are so he he's definitely still catching you like catching up to you uh and he will catch up to you so do you want to cast cloud of daggers yes please okay so you do it's a cube right correct cube, cube of daggers. yeah all right so you put this cube of daggers behind you and you notice that he flies right into it and then explodes into like all this uh sort of mist and smoke that goes out in different directions and then starts to coalesce back together. But it did buy you a little bit of time, so you continue. Now, when you see this, are you just going straight or are you continuing your evasive maneuvers? I'm going to go straight as possible. Straight. Yeah. All, right. All right. I have a second action that I'll, I'll, I'll line up. Okay. So he puts himself back together and begins the chase yet again. Um What's your what's your next action? Uh, I'm up? gonna ready my breath with weapon. Okay. <clears throat> and so I'm gonna blow that 
once again, I feel if he's he's getting too close. So he's about thirty feet behind you. Uh, not good enough for. Hold on, I am a bronze lightning dragon. You said he's thirty. About thirty. Dex save. Hey. Him. Do it. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot of dice. Yeah, I totally rolled it and just just didn't slap the dice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Because it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I know, but if it, I'm not trying to hit him. I'm just trying to. No, I know. Like, oh, okay, so you wanted to see if he just, if you just. But miss. also, I know that magic doesn't work against him, right? I'm just trying to see if anything he, can. He um, doesn't pass his dex check or save or whatever it is. He rolled an eight on the die. Yeah. So what? What the hell does that mean? Do I get to roll damage to him? Does it? Eh, I mean, so you, it's a beam. It's a will, bolt will, of lightning. Will right? it give yeah. him a, a stun? Will it? What, what do you? What do you want to do here, bud? What does the breath weapon do? Um, three d six. Three d six damage, right? Yeah, three d six. Okay, so you uh, sort of turn your head back around towards him, and uh, you feel like this little charge building up in your in your cheekies. And uh, your skin starts to glow in different little splotchy patches. And all of a sudden you shoot this beam of lightning, a uh, bolt of lightning, I should say, towards him. And it goes right through the middle of his chest, causing this big smoky hole to, a to appear. And then it slowly, you know, closes itself back up. It doesn't slow him down nearly as much as the cloud of daggers did because he didn't have to put himself back together that much. Yeah. Um, but he is going to attack with his uh, reiki rake. 14 did. Your AC? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, that's going to hit. Yeah. Uh, Can I use Felita? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Felita, take one from the team. Human shield. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So. You hear this jingle of chains, and then all of a sudden you feel this three razor sharp claw thing just dig into your uh, back and drag down and just slice open your body. Hi! And you feel uh, as though like you've lost something else that wasn't uh, just like blood and bone and gore. And all Quick that draw, stuff. McGraw! <laughs> no, I'm not gonna roll for. Um, I, got, I was making a joke that my my parrot got hit and killed because you killed pets. Oh um, no, I didn't. I didn't kill your other bird until you died. I thought the bird was still alive. No. Chickens still no, alive. Chickums it went, it is went dead. to hell when no. he went to hell. Yeah, he killed chickens as soon as I died. I didn't kill him. You killed him. Poor chickens. But anyways, uh, so yeah, so the 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 three rakes just drag across your body, and you feel a little lightheaded. And almost weakened a bit. Um, it doesn't impact you in any way currently, but you definitely feel as though I have lost the faith of God. <laughs> You've lost as, something as my spirit yeah. is seeping out of my back. Felita, roll me another death save. That's gonna be a fifteen. All right, one and one. Okay, uh, Gizzard, what do you want to do now that he's hot on your tail again? Uh, fire fireballs. Okay. Fireball. How many spells you got? Uh, well, it's a fire bolt and it's oh, a cantrip. Bolt. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say fireball. PK fire. Nah, I don't PK have fire. fireball. Okay, so fire bolt. So, yes. So again, you turn around and you shoot this. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's yeah. Ball of fire towards it, and it it goes through the body like the can, shoulder. Can I actually? Sure. Can I? What, what kind of weapon is it having, or is it just its skeletal fingers? No, so it's it's um, it's got it's got a long chain attached. That's what he's holding on to is this long chain. At the end of the chain, it's like the those three pronged garden thingies that you use. Yeah, I'm for, gonna try to hit that out of his hands. But it's uh it's very large, and the blades are long and curved and jagged and. Yeah, that's what I uh, that's what I want to hit. Okay, so you're shooting that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, so you roll me an attack. I think it auto hits. No, uh, I think Firebolt is an attack. I thought. Yeah, I think you will make a spell attack. Yeah, yeah, I'll make a spell attack. Uh, 
17. It's going to hit. Finding dice is easy. Fifteen. All right, so it hits where the the hand is holding onto the weapon. Uh, the uh, it separates, so his hand turns into smoke. The weapon also falls behind and turns into smoke, but he continues to fly on. As you can see in the distance, that smoke is like fish tailing back towards him, but he's flying too fast, so it's not caught up to him. Okay. Uh, but he is flying now quicker at you because he doesn't have that drag going on. Uh, so Every decision I make is wrong. <laughs> no, I'm just telling you. The, so you can go back to evasive maneuvers. Or <clears throat> yeah, I'll probably you're already up... in the tunnel at this point, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna start weaving in and out since that kind of kept him at bay before. Okay, uh, Dex, check. There we go. Ten. <laughs> okay, Felita, give me a death save. Yeah, now is the time that my die is gonna fuck me. That's a six. One and two. Felita, give me a high low. No, I don't wanna. Okay. This is to help low. you. Low. Okay. Um, Gizzard, you feel as though something has fallen out of Felita's pocket and like onto you and it's like poking you uncomfortably it's like something small and it's got little ridges on it mm. uh where's it poking me uh like your belly because i'm assuming that's how you're holding <clears throat> on to her yeah so i'll just scoop up and put it into my jacket pocket the internal jacket pocket uh it feels like it's a die and it's like shaking and rattling and glowing a little bit oh okay not rolling well it's not rolling but shake yeah, rattle rattle rolling. Die. Um, I I grab it. Yep, yep. It's in your hand. Yeah, it's it's almost giving you a burning sensation. Oh God. Um, <laughs> I roll it. Okay, roll me a d twelve. Yes. It's an eight. An eight. Okay. Give wet willy to a dying person. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> Roll me a d6. It's a five. <laughs> All right. Uh, you need to piss your pants right now. Okay, I do. Okay. Uh, you piss all over yourself. You have not peed in quite a while. And so, Felita? Uh, well, yes, you no, do well, soak hold Felita on. as well. I'm carrying her near my chest. Yeah. You're whole, it's close proximity. No. You're not a ball. You're not just holding. Yeah, but like I'm in sideways? I'm in flight. Yeah. Have you ever spit out the window? Does the spit just yeah, cover but everything the in piss there? Hits your clothes, and she's touching your clothes. Well, I know, so but like, if through. I'm holding my son and I piss my pants, you're it's not going to get my son you're wet. You're hundred percent going to piss on Danny. <laughs> I mean, that's because I tuck it facing up like a normal what? person. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so you. Pee I mean, on does that slow down death? <laughs> so. <laughs> You pee on yourself and Felita. And, uh, oh, let's see here. With an eight. You notice that in front of you there is a, uh, a link in the chain is, like, bulbous and bloated a little bit. And it looks as though, like, any amount of heat would probably cause that thing to burst. I fire bolt it. When? When it's in front of you or behind you? Oh. Strong question. <laughs> when I have it behind me. Okay. Uh, roll to attack. On an inanimate object. I mean, it's still a hit. Like, you still have to roll, not shit. 13. <laughs> Good enough. Uh, so you throw a firebolt back at this chain that's just ballooning up for some reason, and it hits. 
And it causes this, uh, this tension to sort of explode. And the chain, uh. Uh, at least that part of the link anyways, flies up into the ceiling of the tunnel. And it causes the tunnel to collapse, uh, blocking off death. But you, it, you just miss and you fly through. Uh, and you just hear this loud, angry roaring behind you as uh, the entire cu- the tunnel just is collapsing for quite a while before as, it's closed. As? And as you fly past this uh, thing, I'm going to ask Felita to roll me another death save. Keep it secret. <clears throat> Keep it secret? Okay. And with that, we're going to take a break. And we're back. Felita, you dead? 15. Oh, two and two. Um, Gizzard, are you doing anything in the media? Um, time? Yeah, I'm going to take my lizard pants off. <laughs> okay. And probably sl- and slow heavy. down. Okay. Um, uh, Felita's not looking great. I'm... Like death's door. I'm going to go through my my pack while you're flying i mean i'm not trying to outrun anything anymore so i could probably land on these chains okay i'm gonna perceive as well (laughs) where god damn it (laughs) this is such a (laughs) shitty i'm fucking you got a blind bird i know dude it's like (laughs) fucking herding cats good luck clancy where's uh in there with death Where where is uh, perception for Brodio? Uh You could see his uh, his outline way 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 in the distance as I'm he just continues. I'm gonna squaw at him. Squ- squaw squaw. Does does do you stop? That's a twenty one to squaw. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say you definitely hear it. Death <laughs> squaw. <laughs> No, me boy, it's me, Captain Gizzard. I'll, I'll stop for a hot second. Do you have okay. any healing things on you? I mean, only by touch. <laughs> I can cast heal spells. Stay where you are. I'll bring Felita up to Felita's you. Felita's going to have to do saves yep. before they get there. Felita. Uh, can I go through my pack to see if I have any healing abilities, potions, I mean, uh, rare herbs? What you got in your pack is what you got in your on your paper. Just like so. a medicine check, right? Can I medicine her to yeah, you stabilize can also do her? A medicine check. All right, I'll just do that. Roll d twenty. Because I don't have anything written down, so medicine's a plus one, Felita. Thirteen, uh, and that is just enough Ooh. to put Felita at one. <laughs> That's <four>. a negative <laughs> one. Uh, well, <laughs> while I'm stopped for a hot second, uh huh. Are there any like? Uh, Bugs or animals around? Little uh, rodents or cockroaches? You, not that you can see. Elvish cockroaches? Not that you'll ever see. Should I? Should I? I mean, you don't have sonar. Because <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're, you're not a bat and you're blind. Fuck. So for right now, you're kind of helpless in the in the darkness. All I can do is Ooh, all okay. I can do is keep flying forward. Then he's 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 been pretty helpless for a couple episodes. <laughs> yes, no, he's been in a, he's been a good uh, trap. Tester. Yep. Yeah, that's where everything started to go down. Yeah. Just throw him into a thing. All right. It's not a trap. Next. <laughs> He's like a crash <laughs> test dummy. Yeah. <laughs> the title of the episode was uh, Bird Corps Official uh, Trap Tester. Yeah. Um, I guess, yeah, I can't sense animals with any of my spells. I could, I could cast uh, Guidance on myself. I'm going to do that. Okay. I boot myself. To what? <laughs> I get to make an extra D4 on the next uh, ability check that I do. Okay. That I choose. Okay. For the next minute. I would like to go faster with athletics. <laughs> okay. I'm going to double move so I catch him. I get... It'll take you a little while to catch him. Athletics. I got a 19 on the die. Okay. I get to add a D4, which is a 3, so uh-huh. 19, 20, 21, 22. And then my athletics mod is another plus two, so 24. So you're definitely flying uh, much faster than normal. As if Death with himself was chasing me. Yeah, because you don't know. Um, what's your normal flying speed? 50. I would say you're flying about 70. I think. 
Yeah, a single move is 70. Um, Admiral Gizzard. Yeah. So you can just see in the distance that Scrothor just takes back off again. Speeds the fuck up. And you notice that the flashing red lights are getting a little brighter as you continue on down this tunnel. And I assume you just keep on going. Um. Yeah, but I would also like try to convince Scrothor to slow down since we don't really know what's ahead of us. We know death's behind us. Ah! Uh, the way is closed, my dear boy. I stopped it with a a trap that your face did not hit. It can turn into smoke. Rah! <laughs> yes, but rock beats smoke. We've all played that childhood game. Okay. You can try to inhale him when you become smoke again. <laughs> First your rock, then your smoke. Okay. I ate a rock one. How was it? Filling. Did it help digest the things in your tum-tum? No, I didn't even get special rock powers. <laughs> what are the special rock powers you didn't absorb? Fire stuff, I think. Uh, you would have uh, shit Molotov eggs. Oh, that would have been so great. Like you could have made a little like Yoshi eggs, but like when you throw them, they explode into fire. That would have been one of your powers. <sighs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep. I guess. So Brosov will eventually catch up. So I'm just gonna keep going. Okay. All right, we'll start racing towards the red light. All right, so you're racing. It's an ace. And you guys continue on down the tunnel. Now, uh, Scrothor, you're getting like a real uneasy feeling as you continue Ooh, if further I, and further. If I feel uneasy, I'm waiting for my friends. Okay. Because the, there's a lot of the, there's a rumbling noise that's uh, I don't like it. louder, and uh, the okay. air feels funny. I wait for eyeballs to show up because I okay. have, can't see. <laughs> Great. Admiral Gizzard, it takes you a little bit, but you eventually catch up to Scrothor. And you can see in the distance that this tunnel does end eventually, and that red light is uh, much more pronounced. And you can see that, you can feel and hear that the ground is shaking, and you can hear distant thunder as well. Can you heal our friend? Yes, just put my wing in, uh, on our You can land on the friend. chain. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the ground. Okay. No, I'm also on the chain. And okay. I'll, I'll cast um, the healing spell that I totally... Your wounds. <laughs> that you totally have. Now, Cure Dennis, wounds. when somebody's knocked out for so long, they like have lack of oxygen going to the brain, so they just don't come back that right? Oh, oh so, you, so you're thinking Felice got a brain problem? I mean, I'm just asking questions. You're the DM here. To be fair, she was only out for six seconds at a time, so... And that was like an hour. It was like a minute. And it's not really, I mean, that's not it. It's fine. As, as you take a minute without oxygen to your brain. <laughs> it's, it's fine. I can do it right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ten, 10 healing points have been given. 10 healing points. Sweet. So I know that I have 11. 11. <laughs> <laughs> so much health. So, yeah. So you can continue onwards, or you can rest here, or you can do something okay, else, whatever you want to do. Let's go to sleep. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, good morning, Felita. What the fuck? Now that you're awake from your nap, we're going to rest here for a little bit and you take first watch. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, I guess, with a head wound and all. <laughs> Don't worry. Apparently, you haven't uh, had any brain problems since you've been out. <laughs> Not any new ones. There you go. You collect them. Oh, here. And I'll hand Felita back that die. Um, Felita is going to, like, snatch it away. Felita, that die seems shinier than the first time you got it. Oh. Like. You don't say. Yeah. It definitely looks like it's, uh, like, when the first time you got it, it was a bit tarnished. Definitely wasn't very polished or anything like that, but it's, uh, it's definitely shinier, cleaner looking. Weird. Hmm. This made me piss me pants, but it's also saved us against death itself. He also doesn't have pants anymore. Is that why I smell like piss? Yeah, yeah little, that's a little bit of mine. You got a little pee on you. Yeah. What's some piss between friends? Hey, it's the first time I've been pissed on, honestly. There we I was kind of hoping the last time would be the last, but that's fine. Everything comes out in the wash. Yeah. Uh, Dennis, how much time do we think we have? I mean, you guys have no idea. 
I mean, you could have oodles of time, or you could have no time. It's very hard to tell. What's going on? I mean, the tunnel is completely collapsed behind you, but you don't know if he'll, he'll find a way through it or not. You're not sure. You don't hear any sounds other than rumbling and uh, thunderstruck playing in the background. Um, Maybe we wait until we get some solid feet underneath us before we take a nap. How does that sound, Scrothor? Scrothor is your I, healthiest character in your party. Right? I understand. I do love sleeping, but I still feel like I'm in danger. Well, we are, we've been in danger since we were brought back from hell. It seems like being dead was the safest we've been in years. I mean... I... What's going on? <laughs> I'm trying to look up the... What, what's up there? I said, hey... What's going on? <laughs> I, I mean, cross, 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 cross. cross. <laughs> there it is. Anyway, I mean, I feel like we should escape from this place. All right. I so don't think it's safe to sleep here. Well, let's keep going forward until we figure it out. Okay. So you continue on down the tunnel. And the rumbling keeps getting louder and louder. And even the chain itself is starting to shake a good bit. And the flashing red lights are getting more and more pronounced. And uh, you definitely hear thunder. And you are starting to approach the exit of this tunnel into a, another one of these big open looking caverns. Uh, are you just flying on through or what are you doing? Um... <clears throat> Is there any way to perceive before we just fly out all willy-nilly? You can stop before the exit of the tunnel and look around. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. Roll me perception. Everybody can do that, right? Yeah. Well, mm. I guess everybody 16. Can. <laughs> it's not as useful for one of you, but 16? Yeah. What would you get, Felita? I have 15. Okay. I try. You want me a disadvantage? Sure. Only if you're trying to see things, if you're Ten. trying to hear things or smell them. No, I will smell things then with a 17. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Smells like a thunderstorm, mm. Mm. but like a nasty one. Nasty, dirty thunderstorm, like it's been, it's been real bad. Like um, a New Jersey thunderstorm. That's right. So you guys see a similar but much smaller city to the one that you were just in previously, this underground sort of dwelling with the very gothic architecture. However, it looks like uh, the, the chain goes, and then it goes to a smaller orb encased in these, uh, uh, like a metal, it's not a full-on sphere, but it's got like a cage around it, similar to the last place. But the sphere is much smaller than the one you saw previously. And that one has small chains just attached to the walls. They don't go into any tunnels or anything mm. like that. You also see that the ball of energy that's in there seems to be going a little crazy, and it's a red color instead of the grayish, whitish, blue color of the other one. Mm. And you also see that there's no ceiling on this particular cave. It's You look up and you see the skunt in the distance. <laughs> it smells there. wide open here. It's definitely, yeah, it's definitely God wide open. It. And that's also what's raining down this red lightning everywhere. It's coming. Does it right happen always, or is it just normally well, a couple could, weeks out of a month? Well, it's all. It's been a short period of time, so a it week? could be a couple weeks. Could be out forever. Of a month. We don't know. Yeah. Oh, I mean, is it chunky lightning, or is it just you um, know slayer rain and blood? It's a uh, product of the kingdom of the damned kind of thing. I w I would say that the lightning does not look like your natural typical lightning it's a little thicker it's a little ripped up it's all over the place hmm. and you notice that it's hitting these old gothic buildings and chunks of rock are falling down it's constantly shaking in here as well hmm. you see cracks forming all over the walls and shit like that uh, but yeah, this this red lightning is all over the place. Are there still birds and stuff flying around it, like um, like a, a red wing heron or anything like that, or people really are? I mean, you animals? can't see that far. Okay, with your sixteen, 
I mean, it's very That's high up. That skunt is up there. Well, I, I get that. I mean, some of them, some people keep it on a pedestal. That's so. true. Do you think we can fly through it? I mean, I wouldn't have a problem, and I've weathered many storms worse than this one. But mm-hmm. uh, I feel like before we uh, strap into battles of unknown territory, we might want to rest. Rest. As you see, most of my spells are gone, and Felita is still bleeding from her head scunt. All right. Well, why don't we try being hiding craftily? <laughs> I mean, and sleeping for a short rest or something. I believe that's your best bet. Felita. Meow. Yeah. Don't fall asleep. It's bad for your concussions. Stay awake, partners. Tell yeah, us what all color right, smell sure. Like. We could take turns. What is Felita? Uh, race wise? Palastar. Basically human. Okay. Mm. Fancy human. Do Fancy Arab human. Kokras need to sleep? Yeah. Yeah. Everything other than Warforged and Elves and need elves. to sleep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sure. Well, what's the best place that we see for us to. I mean, uh, you, could, you could easily hide in the chains, though they are a bit. Well. I mean, you could just wait till the light turns off. Can I cast Tiny Hut? Do you have Tiny Hut? No, I don't. Then you can't cast no, Tiny Hut. Right. <laughs> can't cast spells you don't know. I know. Can I take time to learn it, even though I don't know it? Not right now. Okay. You don't have any way to learn it. <laughs> I mean, I've got Reddit on my uh huh tablet. Uh huh. So yeah. So you guys can just go down, land on a chain, and set up camp. All right. It's fucking huge. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. It's shaking a bit because you're so close to the exit of the tunnel. Yeah, so, I think we should all just sleep. Yeah, and, and like as a bird person, I, I have just like a little gyroscope in my body. So like my legs hold it, sure. and I'm just like... <laughs> um, and steady. what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out Quick Draw Macaw. Okay. And put them on watch. Okay. Because he, they've been sleeping uh, for a couple episodes now. Sure. <laughs> do they just screech if just start death sketching. comes near? <laughs> <laughs> now what I want you to do, if you see anybody that's not us, wake us up uh, quietly and quickly. You understand, I? Squaw. Squaw, indeed. Bird kisses. I have. Peck. Here's, Peck. <laughs> here's a, a handful of dead mice for you. Squaw. Scrothor wants those. <laughs> Scrothor is already asleep. Scrothor is smell. Scrothor is the way to chew them. These are gummy mice. So chew? <laughs> you don't have your heartburn medicine, Scrothor. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you guys go to sleep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. So you rest for as long as we can, up to a full rest. And you rest and manage to rest for a total of eight hours. Woo! Oh. Hey. Rest. <sighs> Take that. Did my eyes grow back? Clancy. <laughs> no. no, they did not. And as my eyes grow back, oh, damn it. I don't think we're that close. Remember, it doesn't have to be an hour. It just has to be a good story. Sure. But I want to sort of... Run. But we don't do either. I want to get to a <laughs> good point in this one. And you have not, so... We right. got to the skunt. What else do you need? You're not at the you're skunt. Under the, the warm skunt. glow of the That's sky right. gash. You're basking under the sky gash, the skunt, scussy. The gash in the sky. Whatever. Oh, the gash I hate in the sky. Gash so much. Keeps on bleeding. I was, I was going to go with Jesus. Floyd. The great gash in the sky. <laughs> the great gash in the sky? I don't know. It's like the great gig in the yeah, sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you were on with. Oh, I was with both of you. Da, 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 da. I can gash Going all over up town. to the gash in the sky. Oh, that's Spirit in the Sky. There we go, yeah. I was, I, but first you started <laughs> out with I'm Kansas, the wheel in the sky. I know. Keep, yeah, I mean, there's, there's so There's multiples. Many. Scussy. Scuss- oh, God, is this gashes. really what our end of the year song's going to be? It's about fucking yeah, let's just, nope. let's just sky sing gashes? a song about sky pussies. <laughs> Pussy in the sky, something's turning. I don't know. Keeps on bleeding. All right. It, could, it could be a, a good like gospel song. You're right. Uh, I can't think of any. Anyways. No, I mean, <laughs> Spirit of the Sky, you just fucking change it out. Sure. So, yeah. So, you guys uh, are awakened, refreshed. Uh, I mean, <laughs> technically, your hand, foot, and skull are still cracked, uh, Felita, but, you know, 
you just have a nasty headache and you're I'm managing. Can I can I cure wound on all the cracks in the stuff so that they're like on uh, tip top shape? Sure, you could do that. You want me to roll dice? No. Okay. You just do. I do it. So yeah, you feel your skull mend in your head <laughs> and your, your feet Bring your... snap back to where they're supposed to be and your wrists snap back to where it's supposed to Ow. be. Bring your face to my skinless hands <laughs> so I might heal you. Scar tissue hands. Um, I'm, I'm not wounded anymore, but I am traumatized. Mm. Mm. So yeah, what are you guys doing? Should we try to flap up? into the sky forever and hopefully it can, brings us back to the, the real world like through some like birth through the dimensions. Now, you have not observed that this lightning is destructive, so when it hits yes. things, it definitely like rips holes and but we're not, we're not gashes in the stone. In the air. And it, it looks like it would be a bad time if any of it hits you. How, uh, you said we're still on the chains. Yes. How far away is actual ground? You don't see the bottom. You never saw the bottom in the other place either. It just goes until the light don't touch it no more. But we see a gussy. That's up in the sky. Up. Because the ceiling is gone from uh, hmm. whatever this underground city was. I mean, you could see where the ground is up top. Yeah, that's what, that's what oh, I'm talking about. Oh, that's what about. you mean? Yeah. Oh, like... More than a thousand feet up, I would say. We could make it. I mean, I could if I cast fly again, but mm -hmm. I would rather hold on to that spell unless, until we need it again, my dear boy. Wasn't well, that another way to? You I just mean, think we there's just, another door down there to get out. No, but I believe we'll just have to take our time to climb these chains, hmm. foot by foot, inch by inch. I could, I could fly a rope up every link, and you could climb it. I don't think climbing it is the problem. I think it's more it's just going to take time. Well, let's well, take so time. the chain goes the chain you're on goes to the middle of this city where the uh energy orb is. That orb then has smaller chains that just attach to the wall. They don't mm -hmm. go up to the exit. So like And the exit's mm, above it. The exit is above everything. You yeah. said exit. Go to the exit. Why? Well, I, mean, I said that's it. It's where the skunt is. Obviously mm. that's an exit. Are there any like staircases so around you, us? You can't. There's nothing in your immediate vicinity, though. I guess if you went off a little bit, like if you just got off the, if you had one of them fly you to where the buildings are, again, lightning is raining down, so you could get hit at any point. Uh, you could explore if you were so, you know. Scrothor can't carry anybody. Oh, okay. Mm. I thought you. Oh, that's right. I can only assist. Mm. I'm too light. I guess we can cast fly again. Oh, I know. All right. I, want to. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have to use it before we take another rest. Well, I mean, death isn't coming at us right now, so I think I think we can just fly out. Yeah, I mean, we took an eight-hour Yeah, we were safe for eight hours. Let's so just uh, let's just try to get out. Take our time to hike out of here, Dennis? Le oh, it, scroll if, if one of y'all wants to... Explore, look for a, a good viable way out. I can, I can make sure the lightning don't hurt you. I, I think. Well, that's the thing is that Scrothor can't see, so he can't scout. Yeah. Yeah, I was mostly just like trying to be nice to Scrothor by not singling him out, oh. um, and to saying <laughs> that you can do it if you want to. I... Scrothor. I would like to fly towards the freedom of the sky. I think Scrothor is done playing his character. <laughs> I think it's. I think that's the safest exit. So we could climb the chain, and then once we get to the top, where the lightning orb is, we f just fly up into the sky. Couldn't we get you mechanical eyes once we got back to that? I'm hoping so. You don't want to kill yourself, Scrothor. No, I love living. All right. It's basically all I do. I cast get that fly Club upon life insurance myself. Policy. Okay, you cast fly on yourself. And all right, Felita, uh, cast that protection spell for me. Yeah. So, uh, Felita's gonna place her hand on Both Admiral them. Gizzard and cast protection from energy, and I'm choosing lightning. Okay. 
You do. So he has resistance to lightning. All right. So uh, you you touch him, and all of a sudden, this sort of uh, electrical charge goes down your uh, arms and your wrists and your hands, and it travels into his body. And you see it's almost like a little shield that's perfectly formed around his entire body uh, that just shimmers a little bit and then dissipates. So yeah, you are now resistant to lightning. Cool. I fly real good. Okay. All right. So as you have protected Admiral Gizzard and you are preparing to do whatever it is that you're about to do, that is where we're going to call it. So thanks for tuning in. Check us again next time. Uh, check us out again next time. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take it again one more time? I forgot what I was going to say. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, Reddit, Twitch, and Bodge Podcast. This episode of Bodge is brought to you by the Patreon producers. Big little OG load. Oh, Jesus, oh you want, do I want to take this again? This episode was brought to you by the... The OG Lone Ranger Big Jim, the Knock Lord of Chronic Skin, Ode, oh, Bmail, Shanda Panda, Disgruntled Furniture, Chris Wisdom, Zukari, Scabby Goose, Lost Limey, Sapper Supreme, Red Panda Bash, hey oh, and Oshwabash. If you want to support us financially, you can head on over to a bunch of stupid websites and do so. FreedomValleyHorsePace.com, DickBlood.me, DickBlood.club, CornHub.icu, SexWithWookies.com, PigRickets.com, MookMulk.com, mm -hmm. BuyTheseViagra.com, LouisianaPocketGophers.com, DamnYouDennis.com, BirdsWithPenises.com, <laughs> or simply Patreon.com slash BotchPodcast. <laughs> like our newest patron... Red Panda Bash. You want to support us but can't do it financially, then you have been dropping the fucking ball because I have gone over this every fucking week. It takes us time and weeks. Dennis even sometimes writes for more than five minutes before the episode starts. <laughs> and that's more time than it would take for you to get your goddamn Apple Podcast password reset so that you can leave us a five-star review. You're making the chalk mad. Mm. You're making the chalk sad. You want a sad mm. chalk? You're causing the sad chalk. This is how you get a sad chalk. Leave us a fucking Apple I pod, pod review, <laughs> gosh darn it. Yeah. <laughs> Gee willikers, good golly. Get on your Zoom. Give us an <laughs> iTunes review. Hook up your 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 <laughs> Go buy Apple a new II. iMac. <laughs> yeah, your Apple II. Yeah. Plug in the Oregon Trail. Huh? Find the Apple Orchard, and then leave a five star review. It's about not that hard. How yeah. delicious the beef is. God frickins. <laughs> Frickin' Deutsch. Thank you to Gozer for our intro and outro music. Find them on Spotify with their new album over at Gozer. That's right. Their new album has fully dropped. Ooh. Eight song album. It's pretty dope. So go check it out. And then uh, they're on Bandcamp and shit. Nice. Thank you to Emily Swan for album art. You can find her all over the internet at a swan named Emily. Want to send something to the show and have Chonky open it up in stream since you won't even be decent enough to give him a goddamn Apple John fucking review to read? <laughs> Mail me your iPhone. I'll fucking do it. Then <laughs> Mail me your phone. We'll write it and send it back. <laughs> but you have to pay for postage yeah, to get it back. It's P.O. Box 3178, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. What's I'm just going to open it up and have like 18 phones. <laughs> <laughs> you know how but happy and pissed locked. off I would be because we also wouldn't have their login information. Yep. They're all fingerprint locked. Yeah. <laughs> well, now they come with They're thumbs as well. Yeah. They're face locked now. Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, 17325. And as always, as you cradle your unconscious friend and then pee on them <laughs> to escape from death, <laughs> scream botched. And we'll piss with or, you. S sorry, stream botched. <laughs> and we'll feel it. We'll piss on you next week, nerds. It's so warm. Everybody here in chat, Wait, stick around. You forgot. Oh yeah, hold on. Ooh. We salute you, Big Jim. Big Jim. Five. Well, uh, there's a tie. Right. I know. Huh? Oh. We got two episodes, <gasps> assholes. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. Spoilers. Okay. We salute you, Big Jim. Five. Unless somebody else comes in, and then we'll, yeah, you know, yeah, we're not quite we'll done. We, we, we got we got episode one because this this one came in first. Well, Technically, but, Red Panda Bash also subbed. Mm, so that's more. Oh, 
to get fucked big gym five. And, and, <laughs> and they were a patron today at the thirty dollar oh, level. Man. Well, mm-hmm. Big Jim's a patron, so that cancels out. Big but Jim's like, in terms patron. of just in this well, I stream, know, I know, I know, I get that. But sub I, and mm. you know what, Big Jim, you are not this week's Big Jim. Hi, low bud, Ranger. <laughs> Hi, low, <laughs> most, yes, most <laughs> Rangered. Hi, low, Big Jim. Huh? Yeah, solid. Guess high or low. Ten. Nine. He says hi. We salute you, Big, Big Jim, Jim Five. You are this episode's most most wanted. Most wanted. Most, wanted. most surviving did. <laughs> <laughs> Always Jesus high. Christ. You're the most His survivor. eyeballs Low confirmed. wanted. <laughs> the most unwanted. <laughs> oh. I said low. One shark on the down. Uh, all right, everyone. This is a shit show. If you want to see this fucking train keep on rolling, stick around. We are going to take a quick break. I'm going to get a beer. I have to pee. And Tristan's got to pee. So we'll be back in about three to five minutes, probably about like ten. Ten LaCroix. Oh, LaCroix. Most. 